Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. Um, today we're not going to open any cards and I will explain why briefly. I uh, had a small injury at my job last night, so opening packs for a few days is not going to happen. Of course, I just have a stack of the 2021 Donruss there. I've got some other packs that I can open up, but I've been looking at these Hot Wheels over on the floor to the right of my location here. And I want to go ahead and do a Hot Wheels video. It'll be easier on me. And it'll kind of give you guys a little different content here. And these Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars I've picked up at places such as Meyer, Dollar Tree, Walmart, Dollar General, Kroger, and who knows where else. I'm just looking at all the various bags that I have here. So these are just random Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars that I've picked up over time. I'll probably have to pair this off into two videos because there's a lot to lot to uh, uncover here. But we're going to start with a Matchbox uh, vehicle. This is a 1956 PAL Sport pickup truck. Just like the contour of the body, I like the different style lines, the body lines and everything, the uniqueness of the front of this one. Also like that little picture that it has on the front. So there's a lot you can... Uh, don't really care much for that color. But... Uh, is a unique little vehicle. We'll set that one off to the side. Next up is a Hot Wheels. This one is called Cool Combi. So it's it's a, it's a Hello Kitty. I'm not a Hello Kitty fan, but I just thought this was a unique Volkswagen bus. So always pick up these unique ones just for the, the odd factor or the interesting factor or what have you. Next up is a it just says Jeep 4x4. Doesn't get uh doesn't give you a year or anything there. But I do have a 2013 Jeep Wrangler myself. So uh it says Jeep 4x4, so right there it says MBX Mountain. Not sure exactly what that refers to, but this just says Jeep 4x4. Like I say, I do have a 2013 Jeep Wrangler, so I can, you know, I have a little bit of association with the Jeep products. Up next is one called Quick Bite. 2021 Happy New Year food truck. So it kind of looks like an evil UPS van, but nonetheless, something a little different, a little unique. Let's see what else we have here. I'm just pulling these random bags and just uh, see what we have here. This one is from uh, Mattel Game Series. It is Hot Wheels as well. It's called Roger Dodger, and it's the Magic 8-Ball car. Of course, we're all familiar with that Magic 8-Ball that you... Ask it a question, and it'll give you an answer. Do not shake it up. You just rotate the ball around. Next up is a Dodge van. Just like this for the uniqueness of it. It's, you know, not really anything spectacular. Just a, just an interesting little van. Kind of something that you just see around. Maybe a church group might use it, or large families, or what have you. Up next, also out of the Hot Wheels line, is a Land Rover Defender 90. So I just thought this was an interesting looking vehicle. I like the way that they've got it splashed up there with mud and mud on the tires and everything. And looks like it's already been run about and done some land roving. And just uh, got another quick bite. I don't know why I bought two of them. Maybe I just... Uh, seen one at another store because these are two separate bags that I've been pulling them out a Walmart bag and a Dollar Tree bag Let's see here what does this one say 2016 Ford GT race so obviously this one looks like a prototype racer that you would see in the IMSA series the American Le Mans series what have you has that high wing on the back spoiler whatever you want to call it probably a high downforce low drag vehicle Optimum for road racing. Not sure how it would uh, fare on the, the Hot Wheels tracks and so forth. Pull a few more out of some of these bags over here. Because there's a few more bags down here. Up next is a 68 Chevy Nova, part of the Rod Squad. So it has these unique um, paint jobs that are similar to the warplanes, I guess you could say, of World War II and, and that era. Really like those, like the jaws and the the teeth getting ready to attack that front tire just gives it a little bit of that mean feel. So we have a 68 Dodge Dart, part of the Hot Wheels or HW Speed graphics set. Really like this one. This is 
something you'd see running in your local sportsman or comp division or maybe your uh, bracket categories. Something somebody would just pull up in and, you know, probably be pulling it on a dolly behind them and come to the track and just, just having some fun and seeing, seeing what kind of times they can run. Up next will be Hot Wheels Speed Graphics, uh, 7 2017 Nissan GTR R35, it says 2020 model, 50th anniversary version, underneath, uh, that's what I was reading off of it, but it's just a standard looking, you know, fast sports car, does that say on the back, uh, 50th anniversary, so nice little paint job there, little uh, stripe there across the top, pretty attractive looking car. Our next one is a Tokyo 2020. This is for basketball. It's called Sky Dome. We've seen this one before on the channel. Nothing spectacular. Just a, one of these little oddball Hot Wheels custom creations that they have commemorating the Olympic Games. But anytime I've seen one, I pick it up because I don't know if I have it or not. I need to get a checklist made up of what I have and what I don't in that series. Let's see what we have here. Jumble a few more of these around. So up next is a McLaren P1, part of the Hot Wheels Exotic line. Of course, you're familiar with Bruce McLaren. This I'm just looking at the color off camera there. Really like this uh, color, and but it almost appears that it changes, almost like the Dupont Chrome Illusion paint did back in the day. But uh, you're familiar with uh, Bruce McLaren, who had started the McLaren F1 team. Up next is part of the Porsche series from Hot Wheels. We have the Porsche Panamera, yeah, Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo. That's a mouthful. So it's like a, almost like a station wagon or an SUV by Porsche. There you see the Porsche uh, on the back, the, the lettering. So it kind of reminds you of that... Uh, what was it Dodge come out with the the Magnum or not the Magnum whatever that little the the uh, hatchback or not a hatchback but similar to a station wagon that they come out with in the mid 2000s 2010s somewhere along in there it may have been the Magnum I can't remember uh, up next is Hot Wheels Flame series custom Ford Maverick so nice looking car there see it's got the uh, mirrors there on the front fenders just adds to the character of that design, that body style, if you will. We'll take a look at the back of it, the front of it. We have any more in that bag? Looks like we got a couple more in this bag, and then we will call it a day. And then I have, so we've been through three bags, and I got three or four more that we're going to go through in a couple more days. Like I say, it's going to be a few more days before I work on some more cards, let this thumb heal up to where I can uh, rip some more packs. Uh, we have another 20. Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. This one is high beam for, of course, gymnastics. There you see that one. Again, these are just kind of uh, concept cars or their ideas of some stuff. Another Tokyo 2020. Again, another Sky Dome, which represents the basketball for uh, 2020. Of course, the Olympics. The 2020 Olympics are being held this year, 2021. And then our final car of the day from the Hot Wheels Dream Garage. It's called Bone Shaker. And it's just one of the rat rods that you would see. Uh, we've seen a lot of these at the car show uh, a few weeks ago when we went down there. They're always really unique. Talk to a few people. They might have a... Uh, the chassis will be different from the body, which will be different from the engine, which will be different from the tires. And these guys just engineer so much stuff. Uh, they fabricate... They innovate, and they make these really, really neat little hot rods that, uh, you know, they just, they, they're loud, they shake a lot, they're, they're, there's a lot of creativity and a lot of personality in those types of cars. So if you get a chance to go to your uh, World of Wheels, check autorama.com, uh, they'll tell you the World of Wheels schedule, and they, they always have a rat rods room with those kind of vehicles. It's really interesting. Those guys are always standing around their cars, and they, they love to tell you every little thing that they do to their cars, down from the, you know, uh, the type of shine that they use on the wheels and the seat covers and what kind of spark plug wires, etc., etc. They, they love to give you every last detail because those cars are something else. 
Well, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video of these random Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars that I've been picking up over the last several months. Just haven't had a time to integrate them into the, the, the channel. Um, you know, because I've been trying to keep the channel fresh, doing some new stuff, doing some old stuff. So I know you guys, there's a lot of you guys that really like Hot Wheels. Um, I don't know a lot about them. I just see what I like. I buy it and then I want to share it with you guys. So have a great rest of your Wednesday. Tomorrow, I don't know if we're going to do a set review. I need to do a set review. I've been talking about it. So maybe let's, let's just plan on doing a set review tomorrow. Then we'll maybe do more Hot Wheels on Friday. And then maybe by the weekend, my thumb will be good enough to give it the green light to start ripping those last packs of 2020 Donruss Racing. Need to get some more cards ordered. I've got some ideas of what I want to bring in. Um, don't know when I'll do that. It'll be after Friday, though, because I've got to get paid. They like their money. So uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday.